Hi, welcome to module one. This is the home page of the English 101 course. I'm going to add, navigate module one with you. Okay, so the first thing that we see would be uh, the information for the course for the week and essentially um, the module information tells you what to do and all the due dates are on there as well um, so essentially um, you guys will be navigating the course to show that um, you know how to access everything on the um, modules and the lessons as well You will also be interacting with students. So if you click on next, there is an overview task list. So essentially you're going to be looking at prepping for paper one. So the idea here is to probably brainstorm on your own if you can. Um, and then also after reading the prompt very carefully, of course, and then um, looking at um, brainstorming and narrowing to a thesis uh, on the prompt there's a student sample paper for you to refer to as well so I try to make the first paper a little bit more um, fun for you guys the topic is open um, and what you do is you will be picking a topic of interest for what we call an inquiry paper so the inquiry paper means that you're going to be um, looking at a topic you've always been interested in and wanted to find out more about. So it's not an argumentation paper. What it is is a um, research-based inquiry paper where you um, find out different perspectives on a topic. So the structure of the paper is actually very specific. So let's move on to the next assignment. So the first thing you want to do when you start this course is to um, share a little bit about yourself and as you can see um, the recommendation is to have the initial post due on Thursday so that peers can respond to it by Sunday um, so the topic of course is to um, tell us a little bit about yourself um, so it's almost like being in a class and doing an icebreaker and essentially you will also be re reading other your peers um, posts and then responding to them so it's kind of a getting to know and uh, you know keep that in mind that uh, the idea is to start um, getting to know your peers because you're going to be doing um, a lot of interactive types of discussions okay so of course what you do is you just click reply um, put in your reply and address the topic um, as detailed um, it would also be nice to our theme is th food so to maybe include what your interest level is on that okay so if you click next is the next assignment um, navigating the course as I've um, indicated is for um, everybody to kind of just uh, peruse the course online and to um, look at the syllabus details and be able to answer these questions um, to show that you have overviewed that okay so that's the purpose and there's a little rubric just to um, keep in mind that you always want to when you're writing complete sentences when possible and then adherence to the prompt okay and then the um, next would be to of course read omnivore's dilemma um, the book details are under course information under modules so read the first five chapters and then just do an overview um, what you want to do with omnivores dilemma the first five chapters is to get a feel of what the main focus is um, regarding corn and where we get our food and things that we may not already know so the idea here is to kind of just capture some of the main points um, from these chapters and overview some of the details from there uh, and that is actually the assignment. So if you take a look at that, um, it should be pretty straightforward, hopefully. Okay, so you will also be reading from our uh, rhetoric book, uh, Student Guide to Critical Thinking, chapters one through two. 
Um, they talk about actually argumentation analysis, um, which will be helpful in paper two, but also for most of um, the assignments as well, just to always kind of um, keep some things in mind as far as what makes an effective claim. All your papers, even if it's not argumentative in nature per se, um, should have claims to them and being able to support that. So chapters one and two detail elements of that that might be helpful throughout the semester. Okay, and finally we have our paper number one prompt. As I stated before, it's going to be an open topic. Um, the idea is to basically find something you've always been interested in um, and kind of do some research on it. So your part one would be your intro, which would look at the topic, what you already know about the topic, why you're interested in the topic, um, what you'd like to find out about the topic. And then part two would be the body paragraphs, um, where you actually detail the research process, what were you able to find in relationship to what you were looking for, and what were some, some things that may have been surprising. So even though it says two sources, um, I would definitely do, you know, probably more than two just to field some different perspectives, but it is the um, type of sources that you end up using and also, you know, the depth of those sources. So it depends. So you can also go beyond three if you need to, but don't go over too many since it's only a two to three page paper. And then part three would be a conclusion that looks and reflects on your journey. Um, of research, what were you able to find? Did you change your mind about anything? Were you surprised about anything and so forth? So that is actually paper one, but the um, rough draft won't be due until the next module, but um, I would highly recommend maybe planning that and um, thinking ahead a little bit. Okay, and then so for module one, essentially, um, what you're learning is to read critically, which would be your omnivore's dilemma and critical thinking textbook, as well as, uh, you know, looking at, um, doing your own research and then, uh, you know, being able to analyze and apply critical, um, aspects to that in your paper one, which will have the rough draft due next module, but, uh, module one will prep for that. Okay. So that's basically it. So if you have any questions, be sure to give yourself enough time early enough um, in the week to ask questions and allow for answers. We also have a student lounge. You can ask each other questions. Make sure you check on that frequently. All right, and that's it.